Right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun Moon Ines one, Ines well rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January thirteenth to January nineteenth, uh, twenty twenty. <clears throat> And in case you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can have a look at the description down below of this video and there you're going to find a, a link to my website. Now that set aside, uh, let's have a look into what awaits you throughout this week in terms of love and relationship cancer. So we do have the Four of Swords as a topic of uh, your week, followed by the next one, which stands as the energy. Oh my God! So it stands as the energies that are supporting the topic. That will be uh, the High Priestess. Mm. All right. So uh, next one. Uh, we have the challenges uh, which you have to stand against. Uh, no surprise here, Eight of Wands. Uh, then it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that you have to enjoy or that you should enjoy for throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be uh, the Nine of Swords. Fifth one, how people see you, what kind of an impression you are leaving into people. Again, no surprise here, the World card. Followed by the uh, sixth one, which is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. We do have the Five of Cups. Afterwards, uh, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goals. That will be the Emperor. And the final one, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Cancer, here. That will be um, the Knight of Swords. All right. So... Um, that's quite unex uh, unexpected, at least for me, as a um, as a person who preach a certain code of conduit. Uh, so what we do have on our hands here, it's um, these two cards as a um, topic and energies. So the best way how I can describe those, it's like. Um, Baffling attraction, maybe it is the word that I have. It is the sentence that I have to use. Um, unexplainable uh, attraction. So take it that way. We do have the energies of uh, the uh, high priestess, and the high priestess in relationship. It is a, about the bondage of souls, right? It goes even beyond emotions. Okay, it is a about. The bondage of souls. So if we're talking about soulmates, it's just it gets just as close as it is. But I am not a person who kind of can confirm hundred percent about soulmates. Well, it's it's kind of topic of a, a personal understanding, right? Because for me, soulmate could be a best friend of yours as well. But yeah, I mean, in terms of love and relationship, you are going to undergo a process of a bondage of souls in between you and someone else throughout this week. Okay. And at the start, it is because we do have the four of swords here as a topic is going to be baffling. It's, it will be something that you will not be able to explain to yourself. Uh, I would have gave you an example, but that would break clients. Um, you know, I it's a reader client privilege, so I can't really. But yesterday I had that case, okay, and it's it's remarkable to hear from first hand how exactly it turns out. But bottom line is one of the subject, although it doesn't make any sense to love the other, it does love the other. So it's kind of like it doesn't make much sense, but still it is there. And the Four of Swords is, as a topic of the week, it urges you to research on it, you know, to simply confront that issue. So it's a very trivial situation or it can be a very trivial situation where two people are loving each other and just because, you know, they don't want to make the first step 
they never get in contact with one another. Okay, and the Four of Swords here urges you or in generally says that this week contact will and should be made in between you and whomever you are feeling that, you know, you do have that uh, growing bondage of souls. Now, the very least, as an energy, the uh, High Priestess for you, Cancer, is pointing that this person that you can bond your soul with, it is around you, very close, maybe just around the corner. And you are about to find out who that one is throughout this week. Now, if I have to give you a criteria as how you're going to find out, well, that is someone who understands you or at least is trying to understand you in everything you're explaining and they are not judgmental of you and of your experiences as you are describing your experiences as well. But um, quite of an unimportant week for you guys. Just one second to regain control over my camera. Quite of an unimportant week for you, Cancer, here. It does look like that if you are searching for that deep and profound love, I'd, uh, at least according to that general reading, well, you will have an opportunity to establish it. And it goes even better for those who are already in a relationship. It does speak that that relationship is going to dig even deeper. So the other one here, it is the challenges uh, that uh, you will have to overcome for throughout the week in terms of love and relationship here. Eight of Wands. And that is about not taking that attachment, because it's going to be like an emotional attachment, seriously but instead trying to explain it like a, uh, a let's say, a, a passionate impulse that is going to just, you know, pass with time. Well, it doesn't look like that this is going to be the case. I mean, what the Eight of Wands here points, that this isn't just something that just, that just comes and goes. And even if you find a way how to muffle it down, it's always going to linger until you not explore it. And that's why it's advisable to research on it and to explore it. So say you have attraction to someone, well, talk with that person, you know, I mean, someone that you just recently met, well, talk with that person, just see how they feel, see what kind of uh, intentions they have towards you, and maybe you're going to be surprised finding that they have the same attraction. I mean, they have the same urge and impulse to be around you. Now, the next one, it is about the gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Nine of Swords. And this is the gift and the blessing of facing your own fears and conquering your own fears. Now, this is especially valuable for those who are feeling insecure, for those who have their own insecurities. You know, it's, uh, for example, if you are a person who is very shy and it is afraid to say how they feel from a fear of uh, failure, from a fear of denial, well, it doesn't look like that this is going to be the case here throughout the week. You know, you're going to have that gift and the blessing of, of being stronger than your own insecurities and then your own, um, I would say, calculative thoughts of what could be lost if you do this, this, and this, but instead you're going to focus on what can be won if you do this, this, and this. So just to summarize it, you're going to be more focused on the positive side of the matters rather than on the negative side on, of the matters. So how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression people are going to have for you, uh, that will be the world card. And, uh, it's just only one thing and it's pretty clear what the world here says. It's just people are going to see you either as the the match for them. It's like, you know, someone sees you and say, oh my God, that is the guy or the woman for me. I definitely have to try it out with them I, just to see how it's going to work. Because for now, at least from my brief experience with them, I kind of fill up all of my expectations. Okay. And same things for everybody around you. So, in other words, people are going to see you as a something complete that they have hoped to find somewhere 
I, or if I have to classify it in another way, people are going to see you as their peak of experience. So the other card here is what you can do in order to further your long-term love and relationship goal. And that will be the five of cups. So this card here points that nobody is perfect. Okay. And you can't expect a perfection from your beloved one, from your person of interest or from yourself in fact. But what is more valuable than perfection into one's relationship or one's interaction, it is the uh, willingness one to forgive. So what is going to help your long term love and relationship go here, guys, cancer, that is that if whatever disappointment you face, not just only throughout this week, but, the, but throughout the whole duration of this endeavor or an enterprise, if it is instead instead of taking a disappointment or a loss as something definitive, take it as a something partial, right? Take it as a something that uh, it is just there to teach you of a lesson instead of destroying your love or destroying your relationship. And that way, uh, you are going to find it much more easier to face the ups and downs into one's interaction, one's relationship, or just the process of getting closer to your quote-unquote soulmate. I don't like to say that word, and when once I'm done with the reading, I will tell you why, okay? Um, so, yeah, that, that's the whole point of the Five of Cups. Or uh, if I have to say it in another way, don't do things and don't expect things that you are, don't like to be done to you or to be requested from you. So the other card here, it is the Emperor, which uh, represents what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And that is um, trying to establish your marriage, your relationship, your future relationship interaction more like a contract than a, a fluid kind of relationship. So obviously, whatever enterprise you are in with this card, it does need room to breathe. And by trying to control everything in it, you're just stifling it, at least according to that card. So just, I would say, lose the news a little bit and, uh, you know, give it a, a, a room to whatever you do have, you know, attraction or a love towards someone. And if they have it towards you and so on and so forth to grow on its own accord, because love is like the wind or the water. Because in tarot is represented by water. I mean, you can try to catch it, you can try to trap it, but eventually water always finds its way, okay? Through cracks, through gaps, or at the end, the pressure bursts the barrier down. So, yeah, just let it flow. That's, that's the whole point here, instead of trying to control it. And uh, the last one, it is the guidance that tarot is offering. And that will be the guidance of the King of, of the Knight of Swords. So in relationship, the Knight of Swords, uh, especially as a guidance, tells you that whatever decision you are about to make, that decision always, and I mean always throughout that week, needs to be consulted with how you feel, with your emotions. Once again, do, don't do something that you won't like being done to you. Don't demand or request something that you alone cannot fulfill. So yeah, that being said, uh, Cancer, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys. And uh, now I need to explain what soulmate, so what I meant under the word soulmate. Well, at least for me, or at least for tarot, soulmate is someone that you have unexplainable connection with. It doesn't have to be love once again. While in this reading it is, it is because the reading is strictly meant for love and relationship. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't have to be love. You know, it could be just that you like to be with this guy or girl or whatever, and you can't explain why. It is because the high priestess works through silence. Her knowledge, it's beyond one's understanding. I mean, you kind of like subconsciously um, understand or know that that thing has to happen. Why, however, you cannot answer that. No one can. 
it's with the high priestess because through the doors of um, of that safe heaven that the high priestess offers one can only pass by being silent and uh, therefore the soulmate interaction that the high priestess represents is exactly that that cannot be scientifically proven or argumentatively proven okay you just feel attracted to someone you just love someone why you can't explain and whatever cannot be explained it cannot be broken as well so yeah uh that was also my explanation of the uh, soulmates or at least how i am taking up on, on that term and uh hopefully guys we're gonna see each other around now until then bye